Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I just wanted to take a quick moment and let you guys know we've got a Patreon page up. So if you've enjoyed the YouTube channel so far and you like what we do, um, donate a few bucks. It, uh, it goes a long way to keeping these projects running, so really appreciate it. All right, now that's out of the way, let's get back to work. All right, I'm gonna start by mounting the rack for the x-axis. It's gonna go just about here, uh, and it's gonna need a little bit of space to make sure that it's level and at the proper distance from the gear. Uh, so to do that, I'm just gonna drill some oversized holes through this and mount a piece of steel uh, going along here that uh, this will be able to thread into. Uh, but first, one point of contention. This has been bugging the crap out of a lot of you guys. I understand it, you are not wrong. So today, the guard goes back on. I just made kind of a silly mistake. So I squared this rack gear up nice in the center of my frame. Uh, but the motor is totally offset. Actually, it's on this side, uh, which, which means I have more than enough gear here and I run out right about here. So I actually needed to move all the way over here. Uh, I knew this when I um, cut this out and was ready to weld it. I forgot, I, I took a break before I went back to weld it, and I came back and totally forgot. So uh, it's welded up pretty good. Don't feel like cutting it. So instead, um, uh, these holes are evenly spaced. I was 
pretty careful about the way I drilled those. So I'm just gonna move this whole rack down one uh, set of holes uh, and weld in a little extension piece here. Um, yeah, I probably should cut this whole thing off, but I'm feeling lazy tonight. Okay, next up is the drive for the Y-axis. Uh, let me see if I can get the parts for that and I'll show you what I got planned. The layout's gonna look something like this. Uh, we've got our Acme thread here that's gonna be driven by this pulley and suspended by these two bearings. The Acme nut is gonna be attached to the axis above it. Um, to do this, I'm gonna have to uh, lay down some of this thread um, and also create some new thread uh, to tighten against these bearings. Now these bearings ideally would be uh, probably thrust bearings or uh, tapered bearings. Um, in a CNC machine, uh, you see a lot of load this way, so this type of uh, ball bearing really isn't the solution, but in a grinder, it's not ever gonna see any load this way, so this is gonna do just fine. <laughs> well, yeah, it's probably a good time to show you what I've rigged up for a camera system on the, uh, on the lathe. This is sitting right above the lathe, so hopefully I can get a slightly better view, and I can probably even get a little bit of time lapse with it, so. It's kind of something I just threw together real quick, uh, but it should work. All right. All right, if anybody's getting really tired of me using this uh, nasty four jaw setup, uh, you know, maybe think about donating. That would be great. <laughs> I can't afford one right now. Is that not the cutest little armor press you've ever seen? Oh man. All 
All right, for this next one, I actually remembered to include the backstop for the bearing. Um, if the bearings ever do come loose, uh, they can slide back and forth, and that'll cause the whole thing to have play. Uh, so uh, I may have to remake the first one as well for this, but um, in this one, I also went about uh, two and a half thou under for the OD. Uh, it's going to be a little tighter of a fit. So I'm going to heat this up with a torch, and I also have the bearing in the freezer right now. So hopefully that'll give me a little bit more wiggle room. This Harbor Press, as cute as it is, isn't very strong. So wish me luck. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this week. Uh, man, this thing's turning out to be quite a bit of work. I expected it to be, but uh, you know, build the machine from scratch, what do you expect? But I really appreciate you guys sticking with it. Uh, the, the comments and views that I've been getting so far has just totally blown me away. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you have enjoyed the series, maybe think about donating a few dollars. I know you guys are probably used to people begging on YouTube here, but it really goes a long way to help fund these projects. So. If you can spare a few bucks, go for it. It's the last I'll mention it. All right, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.